Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna go over the steps and a couple simple, easy solutions to hook up our water line to our refrigerator. Welcome to Man Card Mondays and let's get started. The first thing we have to do is get our refrigerator pulled out. So every refrigerator has like this little plastic skirt that covers up the wheels and allows you to adjust the height of the refrigerator and get it level. What you don't want to do is drag the refrigerator out with these little foot pads adjusters down. So we wanna make sure these are unscrewed and the refrigerator is sitting on the wheels. Now, once that is complete, after that, we just wanna make sure there's nothing on the floor because sometimes these little plastic wheels, they will scratch the floor. So to protect my hardwood floor, I'm gonna put some tape, kinda just make some simple little tracks on the floor the easiest way to pull their fridge out is just open the front doors and just pull it slowly and evenly straight out. Now that the refrigerator is out, now we go to the options of our water line kit. Now they have several different options of these on the shelves, uh, anywhere from a little plastic line to copper line to braided stainless steel. I opted for the braided stainless steel option and I'll go over that reason in just a minute. Now these are one quarter inch thread size and they are a compression fitting. Some of these kits will come with adapters so you can um, increase the size or de decrease the size of the fitting that they install behind your refrigerator. Before you go through any of those options or select your size fitting, I highly suggest pulling the refrigerator out like we have now getting behind there and looking at the fittings to see what size you have. Let's hop behind here and we'll see what fittings we have on ours. All the refrigerators have a plastic line coming out of the back. As you can see, ours is plastic. It's about 3 8 size and it goes down to an end hanging right here. And all the ones that I've seen on the refrigerator side all look like this. They have a little bit of slack and a stock line that comes with it. Now this luckily is a, a quarter inch thread male thread on the refrigerator end and that will fit perfectly on our line that we got because it has a double quarter inch female thread now for the wall side coming out if you have a house that's newly built you're going to have something that looks similar to this right here what this is this little copper canister will be attached to the bottom and it, you also should have a valve on and off valve to turn this off luckily again we are met with a quarter inch male thread so that's going to work perfectly and this little copper canister right here, it controls a water hammer. That way if you have um, a surge in water pressure or you turn your main water off in your house and then turn it back on after repair, it won't surge inside the refrigerator and bust those components. The components that hold the water inside the refrigerator are not very strong and they actually bust pretty often. So you definitely wanna add this if you don't have one. Now that we confirm those two components are gonna fit and work perfectly, all we have to do is hook up the line. Now the one I prefer is a braided stainless steel line, always. I will never use anything, but we've renovated several houses and out of the four or five that we've done, I've had two of them actually leak water behind the refrigerator. And the only way we found out is from the floor, the wood floor under the refrigerator start buckling. Sure enough, we pulled the fridge out. It had the cheap plastic line. At some point when the fridge was being pulled and reset back in and out a couple times, the plastic line got kinked and started leaking. So I am a big component of running the stainless steel line. Spend the extra money. It is not worth the leaks. That being said, we got stainless steel. So now let's get this line installed. I recommend like a five foot line because we do a lot of work and sometimes deep cleaning in our house. So the refrigerator does come out of its nook pretty often. So the five foot line will give you enough slack to be able to pull it out, get behind there, assess the line or even inspect it and make sure it's not working after install and then you can just simply push it back in. So the first end we'll connect will be to the wall side. And these are super easy. They do have the rubber compression fittings in there. Do not want to over tighten these because it will push out that rubber gasket and it won't work properly. So a full turn and just a good snug tightness will be plenty for these. And then for the back of the refrigerator, before you hook it up, just make sure you uncoil your line and that it's straight. And this side will hook up the same way. And then I like to have a set of pliers, that way I can hold the line fitting from the refrigerator while I tighten up the stainless steel water line. And again, just maybe a three quarters of a turn after it's snug will be plenty tightness. 
Now lastly, we wanna turn this water line on while we're back here and watch for any, any leaks. And when you turn it on, make sure you turn it on super slow because you don't want a water hammer in the refrigerator. So luckily our switch is right behind me and I will slowly turn it on and hopefully we won't have any leaks. All right, so I hear it running. So I just gave it a tiny little crack. And once you hear the water stop running, that means it's filled the line up of water and then you can turn it on completely. And that is it. We are running water to the refrigerator. No leaks so far. Let's hop out, go to the front and see if it works. Our refrigerator has water on the inside of the door. So as you can see, it has an ice maker and then a water system right here. So let's see if it works. All right, we got water. Flow two full cups out of the refrigerator. That way we get all the air bubbles out of the line. And now we simply go on the backside again and check for leaks. Both fittings seem to be great. No leaks at all. I can hear the refrigerator pulling water in already. Last thing we're gonna do is run this water line the best way we can to make sure it's straight and it will not kink or get ran over when we push the refrigerator back to its home. Again, this is your wall side coming out. It will look similar to this with a quarter inch compression fitting male thread coming out of the wall. Going into the female quarter inch compression fitting stainless steel line. In the back of the refrigerator, you will have one just like this. The plastic line you see is from the refrigerator, the stock one and the metal line going down is the other end of our water line. You really have to watch the line as you're placing your refrigerator back. You do not want to kink it or get it caught up in any way. Everything went back great. I'm gonna adjust my levelers, my foot pads again on the refrigerator, put them back exactly the way they were. And then I'll remove the tape from the floor and then lastly, we'll put our refrigerator front skirt back on. Just like that. Well guys, that sums up this week's Man Card Monday video, how to hook up a water line to a refrigerator. Now I don't claim to be a professional DIYer or a professional contractor by any means, but I think sharing our knowledge and helping each other out, we can all become better husbands and fathers and DIYers. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this week's video. And remember that external or exposed water line behind the refrigerator, that's something that we don't need to fix and forget. You do have to keep an eye on it. I've had horrible experience with water leaks behind the refrigerator multiple times in several different houses. I hope that video helps you guys. And with that being said, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe help support the channel. I really enjoy doing this and sharing this knowledge and receiving good knowledge from you guys. God bless. We will see you next week for another Man Card Monday.